saying just your name, okay? Just out loud. One, two, three. Okay. Cool. okay. All right, on a count of three, I want you to say your favorite dessert. Pretty good. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Alright, crank it up. <laughs> crank it up to 11. This is the hardest one you know. The hardest one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, on the count of three, I want you to tell me your deepest, darkest secret. I'm just kidding. It's too, <laughs> it's too soon. Alright. I. Welcome to Herald Night. We have two teams. They're going to be great, and uh, one of us is on each of them, so you have to guess. Um, but I don't know, how, how do you pick who goes first on this kind of thing? Well, you guys are going first because you're listed as first on the Facebook event. And okay, we great. Worship Facebook. Yes. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> now I know. All right, so I think you guys heard the gist. Uh, if you need to use the restroom, don't do it during any of the sets. You can do it in between the teams. Um, or on your chair. It's only an hour show. Yeah. Or on your chair. It's on your chair. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> But when you leave at the end of the night, at the end of the show, please recycle your cans and your bottles and all of that. Uh, and suggest awesomely. Really think about it tonight, guys. Make those suggestions wholehearted. Yeah, you practice saying your name and your favorite dessert. Now crank it up now. Yeah, so we only need one suggestion. Um, you'll be prompted with a suggestion. Other than that, <laughs> give it to yourself. What? All right, that was great. That I was great. Too strict. The, the whole thing. I don't think we need to be any more strict than that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, right. What? That's God. <laughs> well, why don't we start? Yeah, let's start. Alright, gang, let's bring out Dristo! Now you go. 
Try to match that energy. Squash the fire of competition just yet, because you still uh, need to work together in order to impress me. So it's still, you know, you can still be at each other's throats. If, you know. Now I'm dependent on this person. Wait, I'm very confused. That's very now a joint audition. I'm just not, saying, I did not prepare for this. Um, it's it's not a joint audition. It's just if you guys don't work together well, then a whole new dynamic's gonna get thrown. That's literally how we're both how it making it, or is only one of us? Yeah, yeah, one of you's gonna be the bass flute, and one of you's gonna be the alto flute, but also we could bring in whole new elements into this. Can I just volunteer to be the alto flute? You, yes, yes! No, I'll kick you out if you guys don't work together well, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know, man, the artistic direction of this orchestra, I'm not sure I'm on board. <laughs> I'm not on board. <laughs> Please find my wedding ring, honey. <laughs> Depending on. I don't know. We're going to be able to find it. We're not married anymore if you don't find it. What? <laughs> I didn't even lose it. No, but I lost it. It's, it's tearing me up. It's tearing me up that I'm getting divorced. I want to get divorced? Yeah, I lost We're going to find it. it. It doesn't mean that. I know there's a lot on the line. The stakes are very high, honey. <laughs> make a new one? So get remarried. Yeah, we could just we can look for it, but if we don't find it, we could just renew our vows. Mm. I don't want to get divorced. I love you. I would probably renew our vows if we don't find it. Uh, you would prob probably probably. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's all assuming another woman doesn't find my ring and deliver it to me. <laughs> then I'm legally married to her. Whoa, whoa, what about my ring? Your ring? Yeah. Yeah, you, um, gosh, so maybe I'd be married to you and she'd be married to me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I might, I might have to expand the family a little bit. Oh, uh, I don't think that's no, no, no. how it works, uh, Thomas. I don't know. Is this what you want? Is this is this what Linda D? Is this why you lost your? Did you lose your ring on purpose? No, no, no Linda. No, I didn't lose it on purpose. It's the beach. These things happen at the beach. Call, <laughs> call. <laughs> Well, but you're making me feel really confused because first, like, you're like, I mean, we got married. You yes, know, we've been yeah, married yeah, for yeah. 20 years. And our <laughs> rings represent our vows. Yeah. And if I lose it, the vows are you null and void. You lose things, though. <laughs> <laughs> You've, like, always lost things. I've, and it wasn't, like, null and void. Like, you lost your house keys. It's not, like, our yeah, house. Yeah, and then I lost the deed to the house, too. I mean, it was, like... It's not good news. Look, I'm searching. I, I want this thing too. I'd love for this to work out, but um, I just I I'm, we've just been searching for like two hours now. I don't I'm starting to lose some hope. Well, it's on the uh, I wasn't even on the dinner. <laughs> You like what? You like the work we've been doing. Oh, I love the work you've been doing. 
After those grapple bastards, I thought, let's get back to basics. They combine a grape and an apple into one delicious fruit. The bastards. Why would they do something so stupid? I don't know. All right. Oh, not good enough to finish, though. I will finish it. Look, we've got to fire these missiles. <laughs> Just run me through the plan again. Not that I wasn't listening to the first time. Johnson, damn it. I was really anxious about you eating my fruit that I just aren't. I don't have time for your grapples right now. We have to fire the missiles at the enemy. It wasn't for a del You weren't even listening. This is not about the apples right now. Okay. Okay, fine, Mr. Mr. Bossy Pants. You've always been like this. Okay. <laughs> I'm do finishing my banana. Oh, fuck, God damn it. <laughs> Do you want to know the plan or do you want to eat your banana? You tell me. I want both. <laughs> Man of many wants. You see me? Yeah. I like to take down the enemy. Hey, why do you always get to use the periscope? Because you always have a banana in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> has a little transformer in it. Whoa! Oh. Wait. Really? Pew pew! Oh, oh my, my banana just has fucking potassium in it. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. My apples have crispiness. This is just a regular grape with vitamin C. I'm really confused about whatever you were eating. Yeah. It's a yeah. chocolate covered egg inside oh. is a toy. Oh. Oh. A kinder. A kinder egg. It's not, not a real fruit. A kinder. Okay, oh, sorry. Kinder surprise. Hey, hey least... that's illegal in this country. A pew pew, I shoot yeah. down laws. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. My mom packed me a cantaloupe. Trey? Nobody wants cantaloupe. Do you, you, want, you want the cantaloupe? I want a cantaloupe. Oh, dude, he's gonna give me his transformer for that. Oh yeah. Alright. Pew pew! Oh! Yeah. Oh! Holy shit, it's a Furby! against each other and then make it all not a big deal and then pitch against each other again and keep throttling like that. That's why I'm getting called to the principal's office though. Yeah, right. And I'm just tell him I'm a good tell him like I'm a good guy. You're not a good guy. You're a manipulative bully. But you're very also advanced manipulation for someone in the eighth grade. Okay, look, but I'm a I'm like a big Beethoven fan, and I feel like he would, he would have been like that. He had it's like his overall vibe. From you're also school. a manipulative bully who's like a nerd. <laughs> okay. So why should I not send you to the principal and to Charles, who will beat you up for being a nerd? Because you know how hard it is to be a composer. I've been waving a no, stick. No, I don't care. Yeah, I don't know about anything about composing music. I play Fortnite all day. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever Fortnite is, it makes you damn good at bass, flute. <laughs> all right? And I've just been waving this stick, and I, I need this to go good, all right? And so I'm sorry about the past, but from this day forward, I'll be a great composer. I'll be supportive or whatever it is you want. I'll even buy you a new Fortnite. Is that possible? No. Is it a <laughs> <laughs> Give you that ring? Yeah, this is actually my uh I'm I'm oh. um <laughs> I can ordain this right now. <laughs> um <laughs> what is happening over here? Uh, babe, I mean this bird found my ring, I'm legally married to it now. <laughs> I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> bird, you have it's... your vows. I never leave home without them. <laughs> oh my god, you have a pocket in your feathers? Come I on! We're married! I, Linda, this is gonna stop. Linda, I object. 
Would you please be my best woman? <laughs> oh, no! That's so beautiful. We need a witness. We need a witness, please. I'm right. your wife! Do that for us and also your new relationship with this bird as well. <laughs> We're actually three women. Uh, okay, so if I get this straight, you want me to break into your house, steal your wedding ring, and then take it to your ex-husband who will then be married to you? Yes, that's exactly what I want. $600. <laughs> Look, man, it's a trap. If you grab the wedding ring, you become married to her! <laughs> Trust me, it's true. Based Do I on still get the six hundred dollars? I think probably. Yeah, I don't see how she. I don't think. I don't see it's how she. Not My hands are clean. It's not about that. It's about keeping it steady. What don't you get? You need both hands. Oh, dear. When you drive, you do two hands all the time. Yes, it's a ten and two. Okay. Well, okay, here. I'll hold. Is that three? Oh, give me the damn banana. Oh, this is great. <laughs> yeah, this is. Not getting shot down with your banana. Look. Do you see in the periscope? Do you see the other submarine? Yeah, but it's a little fuzzy. I feel like I need some more potassium. You had enough! You had to stop with that! How many do you carry with you a day? I carry one bunch! <laughs> but, look, Lieutenant! Okay? Alright, maybe I wasn't cut out to be a submarine dude! Maybe I was born to just be, you know, a normal land dweller! But at least I know what I like! Look, Johnson, I knew when you were raised by a family of apes that something would be weird about you. <laughs> I like what you're saying! <laughs> this is too many aggressions. Sit. <laughs> Sit, Johnson. So, what made you decide today was the day? We've been fighting non-stop since we got in here. Just, the truth was, I looked at you like a second son. Oh. Oh. Not my first, but a second son. <laughs> <laughs> You like to use your normal words and voices. Kazoos? Yeah, I think it's a little. I think it adds a little something too, you know, to our symphony. People mm -hmm. love texture. Yeah. Show them your heel click. Huh? We got to try our song with these okay. two right. now, okay? I'm the biggest bully. This is the first finger that you point is in my direction. 
No, I was just thinking maybe if you had it, then because if you had my base flute, then you would be first chair base flute because that's how the rules go. <laughs> like if I lost it and you found it, and I figured you're always jealous. And see, you had it. Yeah, I had it. <laughs> I I got it. Well, if you have it, then the rules say that you are now the first chair base flute. That's how it works. My oh. dad once lost his wedding ring, and then I got a new mom as a bird. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's gonna be so proud of me. This is. I never. I act out a lot, and you know, I'm the biggest bully on campus, but that's so you're, just. You're not gonna give me my base food back? No, I'm gonna make this into some sort of family like legacy. <laughs> hey, son, um, since you, I, you got that flute that I gave my previous son, well, now you're my son. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I love you, Papa. There's a deep family yeah, legacy. Hey, oh, Dad. I don't listen to you anymore. All right, cool. <laughs> um, this is what a hug feels like. This is what a hug feels like. I love it. Uh, you remind me a lot of my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know that your bass flute is in their house, so we can look for it with this device. Okay. Beep. 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 Wait, are we breaking entering right now? We are. Oh, okay. Beep 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 you think you were my ex-wife and now you're my son? I'm really confused right now. I just love you a part of your life. I feel we've been we've been grown farther apart and this will bring us together again. Let's renew our vows. I'm a priest, I can help with that. If you like you can ordain your father son vows. Yeah, father son vows. We need some sort of father son rite of passage to happen. I guess it's already happened, he stole the bass flute, but you That's can teach me how to shave, Papa! You can, uh, you can play the flute for him. If you play it, then he officially becomes your son. Oh, would you hand it to me? Oh, wait! No, I'm my own son? You're your own son <laughs> <laughs> You're me now, Dad? I'm you. And you're your bird wife? I'm me, and I'm my bird wife. And I'm you. <laughs> Our first situation is getting out of control. I think we launched the missiles now. Are you even looking inside? Yeah, I don't you? Yeah, I see the family, and now he's becoming her. He's also him and his son. Launch the missiles, man. All right. <laughs> this, this is way too fucked up for me. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Well, mm. that story's done. Another. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? 
What's going on? What is under, the the sea? Sea? Under, under the sea? Under the sea? Under the sea? How, how can we breathe? Magic. 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 Do you believe in magic? Yes. Yeah. Do you? Do you? We see uh, a little lemonade stand with like the little stars on top. There's a little pony with a, with a horn that's sparkly and a rainbow tail. I guess it's a unicorn. There's a birthday cake that's actually a carousel. Above the lemonade shop, we see Marty's. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. and there's two little kids. One's named Marty and one's named Barty, and he's just hanging on. But Marty's the real deal. He's wearing <laughs> yeah. a little polo with his name on it. Yeah. Barty just has a sharpie onto a white polo. You can tell he's the real deal because he has a sign hanging around his neck that says, I'm the real deal. God, I'm the real deal! I'm, I'm the real, real deal. deal! I'm the real 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 deal! Yes, so, uh... Take a look at my resume, you'll see I'm the real deal. Yeah, let me look at your resume. Yeah, yeah, wow, we've never hired someone with uh, your level of uh, deal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I closed many a deal. Oh, man. And Here. most of them are real. Listen. <laughs> Here at the Jersey Shore, we only hire people that are the real deal. Mm. And you've had the deal for the last 25 years in your career. That's very kind of you to say, Snooky. <laughs> but right now, I need a job so I can care for my baby. I'm JWoww. <laughs> wow, you look like you're about ready to pop, JWoww. Are you nine months pregnant? Ten. <laughs> Your baby doesn't want to come out because it doesn't want to live in Ocean City, does it? No. <laughs> How long is that baby going to be in that giant belly of yours? It's growing as we speak right now. It's the real deal. It's a real me, baby. It's a real baby deal, if you ask me. I don't know. Probably when I move to a better area with better schools. <laughs> That's a good point. Are you here? an interview for a job, or are you here so that it would make your pregnancy end, right? Like you, what? you know what I'm talking about? Like <laughs> 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 you give birth. So what's the word for when you make a pregnant woman give birth? Uh, forcing it? <laughs> <laughs> You're here to force it out. I'm just gonna force it out in this interview. Because it's the Jersey Shore. <laughs> <That's Yeah. what laughs> I know we've been through this clearing before, but like the car has to be around here somewhere. Well, do you believe in magic? <laughs> <laughs> Carl, <laughs> I, I, you're going you're gonna to do the magic trick again. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Bam! There it is! <laughs> holy, holy, holy crap, Carl, you, you've tried that magic trick 3,000 times. I was counting. Why wow, you're such a bean counter. Get in the fucking car. Okay. <laughs> how, like, how did, how did you, how did you do that? You just have to believe. You just have to believe. Well, man, I, I've grown up believing in science. Whoa! Whoa! The car's driving itself. What the hell? What did I tell you? We did some upgrades when it was in the other world. The other world. <laughs> Car world. Carl, are you some kind of necromancer magician guy? No, I'm a regular guy. I'm 40. I have two jobs and two kids that don't like me. And my wife that doesn't pay attention to me. I'm a regular guy. But you just <laughs> made a car appear and it is now driving us. It looks. Yeah. I'm a sad regular guy. It's not. It's breaking the speed limit, Carl. You have arrived. Oh, We're here. Thank you, Magic Car. <laughs> Get out. I. Please. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Car, I can't. I can't just let this go. <laughs> Dwight just dis dis disappeared. There are a lot bigger problems in life than magic being a real or not real thing. Are you kidding me? 
How's your family doing? <laughs> Tell me your family's going well. It's fine. I mean, I guess Sally just started third grade. She's not doing that well. And oh, I'm look like, at you. A perfect middle class family with a white picket fence. But I can't do magic, Carl. Magic. Magic's just my hobby, okay? My life isn't going that well. Magic's all I have. Oh, I mean, you could make your life go better with magic, couldn't you? No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can create cars, I can create unicorns. Okay, you Carl. cats out of thin air. Okay. Have, have you heard of the economy? You can what? make cars appear and then sell them for money. That's ridiculous. No one would buy these cars. They're aggressive and they talk back to you. <laughs> <laughs> We're at an Arby's. I didn't ask to be taken here. Magic's unpredictable. It's unpredictable, but Jesus Christ, Carl! I, 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 I'm an accountant. I, I sit in an office all day with a little green hat. Why and I write you? numbers down. Why do you have a little green hat? It, because it keeps the bright lights out of my eyes. <laughs> Can't you just... Turn, turn the lights down or get a different office? They're fluorescent! Talk you there. can't dim fluorescent lights, Carl! The facility's about the bright lights. All right, Barty. All right, Barty. This is it. You know? Cincinnati State College. This is the fun that's going to do it for us. Barty. Barty? Don't do this to me right now, Barty. Not right now when we're so close. We're only $15,000 away. The full $15,000. Where, where are we going to get $15,000? This lemonade stand. It's our cash cow, Barty. It's our cash cow. We're going to milk this lemonade stand until she can't stand no more. And then we're going to sell it to the butchers. And I don't know, I don't have a really good cow metaphor. That's not really a good <laughs> metaphor that I'm Marty! No. I just feel like I've been living in your footsteps this whole time. Like you're the you're just the real deal and I'm just living here just in your footsteps. Marty. In your shadow. Marty, we're twins. Marty, <laughs> I know. It's five minutes after you and I, I just feel behind Marty, you. Stop. <laughs> Look, we're gonna go together. We did our SATs together. We submitted our common app together. We're gonna sell this lemonade together. We're gonna go to school together. So cheer up, Buttercup. <laughs> Don't try, but it's really hard knowing that you only have 5,000 to go and I have 10,000 to go. That's fine. Look, it doesn't matter. It's a shared pot. Oh my god! Oh wait, we've actually been waiting. You've been waiting! 20 minutes. Oh so. my god. Yeah, we were for lemonade. Lemonade. I yeah. promise you we have really good lemonade that's real good and not poisoned. What? Oh, it makes what? me think that it's poisoned. Wait, it's definitely not poisoned. <laughs> it's it. not poisoned! Don't listen to me! Why would you say that yeah, at all? Why would you say that if you didn't? Oh, did I mess it up? No, you did. it's fine. It's totally fine. Just, okay. just give it to them and say thank you. We can hear you. No. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I think we're just going to go to the Henderson punch stand across no! the street. No! All right. Okay. Sorry. What? College, oh. though. It's important. We're in the future. Damn it, Barty. Hey, you always mess up. Everything. No. No, it's not you. It's fucking... It's the world. They're against us. Maybe we should start poisoning people. <laughs> Maybe the medical services. <laughs> It is the real deal. That, that oh. was real and a deal. Yes. Ah. Yes. That is, yeah. We yeah. all broke our scapulas together. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. wow. Broken. Broken. Together. It's the real, real deal. deal. Here are our real medical bills. Yeah. Wow.
mom's uterus for 24 months. Are <laughs> <laughs> well, you just going to sit there and complain? Or are you going to get off your ass and do something with your life? What do you suppose I should do? I'm constrained to a, a sack. I, <laughs> how do you think I feel? I'm your vestigial twin. <laughs> I'm smaller than you. I can't survive out there. I don't have any room to spread out here in this womb. Then maybe I should absorb you within my body. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the guts. I don't have the guts. No. You're not the real deal. You, you wow, don't have the life. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Kick over the uterus chairs. <laughs> On account of three, you drop. You shoot your placenta gun at me and I'll shoot <laughs> Not until three. Not until three! And let me get untwisted from this umbilical. You would be twisted in an umbilical. <laughs> you're not twisted and you're still in the womb. What excuse do you have? I'm trying to get nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> On a count of three, we draw our placenta guns. On the count of three. The loser eats the afterbirth. <laughs> oh, I hear that's really helpful for you. It's, it's a good. I'm, I'm fine with losing if that's what we have to do. I'm already tiny. I need as much as I can get. Listen, tiny twin. Who? <laughs> That's fighting words. On a count of three, no you fry your placenta gun. Oh. We'll have mom count down. Mom! <laughs> ah, oh. kick her uterus! Oh! Kick her uterus! My feet are ill-formed. It doesn't work for you. Stop it! You call those feet... I out. don't! <laughs> One. She counting up or down? She's counting up! She's our mom! <laughs> don't you disrespect her, mother. I'll absorb you within my stomach. Mom, continue counting! Magic cars are really fun, but why are we in Wyoming? <laughs> right. I know you don't know this because you're a beautiful lost soul, but we've been kidnapped. And it's okay. It's just by, by the cars. By the cars. It's fine. Buy our new, buy our new car. Buy our new car. It's totally fine. But he drove off. Yeah. Yeah. And we're in Wyoming. There's nothing around us, okay? He can come back whenever he wants, okay? I feel like we're more like abandoned rather than kidnapped. Okay, so if someone takes grabs you and takes you to know a random place that's not kidnapping? I guess I don't but know. If they, but if they leave, you know, I don't know. You know what, maybe you're right. <laughs> but can you kidnap and abandon? For sure. Okay. <laughs> but is it still a yeah, little no, bit? I don't know, because if you laws. leave, then it's like, I feel like kidnapping you know? is like you stay put. Yeah. You stay put okay. and then you do what you okay. want. We're getting into We're so many. We're getting into some right, right, right now. now. We're <laughs> We're counting the beans. I know. We're from Oregon. Okay. This is very far. <laughs> This is really, really far. Should I thought it was going to be a romantic I know. Way. I was like, we're going to go up the coast, down the coast. Well, we did go up and down, and yeah. then we just went straight east. Yeah. <laughs> That's where Wyoming is, just east? Just, yeah, generally I east. I can't. It's a flyover I'm state, sorry. Jared. I don't know. Who cares? I'm sorry. It's generally I just east. I like the details sometimes. I'm sorry. I don't know what we're going to do. Right. You told me to leave my phone at home because we were going to go on an adventure. I know. Aren't we adventuring now? Aren't we adventuring now? <sighs> I mean, I guess. So this I would much prefer an adventure. <laughs> oh, thank God! Oh, but oh. it's a Prius. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna work. Okay. Okay, um, let's go someplace where we actually want to go. Do we have to, like, click our heels for this to work correctly? 
I mean, we didn't the first time. I know, and we ended up in Wyoming, so maybe we should give it a try. That's a good point. <laughs> Take us home. That no, that has not nothing to do with not? it. That has <laughs> nothing to do with it. I just, I just, oh. Let's go farther east. You want to go to New York? I want to go to Pennsylvania. <laughs> Why Pennsylvania? Because I like that it's a purple state. A purple state? Like, politically. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Sorry. I feel like we can meet a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds. <laughs> have you been to Pennsylvania? I don't know. It's a lot of people. You know, it's fine. I, I, what the, why would you I, interrupt me for no, that? It's just like I've been, I went to school there, and like part of it's like really like fine, and then like you get the other part is industrial. Yeah. Let's go to Pittsburgh. Yeah, that's where I went to school. It's fine. Oh. Cool. Enter destination. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. <laughs> Ooh, really Welcome blind. to Orlando. Well, I'm better. Better, better than Wyoming. Better. Yeah. Better than Wyoming well, for sure. All right. All right. Oh no. Oh no. We're just out of Texaco. God damn it. <laughs> Marty. Marty? Yes. Marty Higgins, welcome to Pomona. <laughs> Marty Hello. Higgins over here. Hey, uh, tuition checks due in a couple weeks. Here you use textbooks in your, uh, your dorms behind the main dorms in the shack. Wait. Marty, welcome! Hi! So <laughs> we're we're ruins together. We have to we have to be close. Marty, I forgot to tell you, it turns out I couldn't get in the normal dorms. I'm in the alternate dorms. That's which right. Is also the uh, I have to work part time as a janitor, actually. Marty's, so I'll be in the, the Marty's gonna be taken care of. That that shed has the word dorm written on it in sharp. Don't worry about me. It'll be really clean in there because it also is where the mops and buckets go, so. <laughs> Marty, I can't tell if you're just, like, taking a hit for me or if you really love this. Hi. Uh, again, I don't know how this keeps happening. I've been in line for 20 minutes to get my textbooks, and these guys are, again, having a personal conversation. Here, brand new textbooks backpack for you, Marty. I mean, here you go. I mean, Enjoy I, your used textbooks. You get totally, out of here. You can totally have one of my books if you want, they're totally not filled with like crazy poison. Okay, that poison. makes me think that they're filled with crazy poison. You did this last time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. Where are you going? All right, evil doers. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about what we put in our poison. Yeah. I put nude eyes and arsenic. That's oh. a good oh. That's oh. a classic. Oh. That's a traditional. Oh. I put last year's tax return. Ooh, Ooh symbolic. Not very poisonous, but symbolic. <laughs> My grandmother's ashes. Oh, oh nice. she was nice. Nice. She, she was evil. She was evil. You have to close it down with some ashes. I put bananas, cranberries, and strawberries. That's a smoothie. <laughs> That's summary. That's yeah. such a smoothie, though. What? That's a smoothie. No, this is evil. Not no, it's, it's a smoothie. It tastes evil. No. <laughs> Did you? Too much banana, that's that, evil. Oh, but that's yeah. like, so much um, I think my Uber's around here somewhere. <laughs> whoa, 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 stay back. I think that's a wild Uber. No, 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 it's totally cool. It's just one of the driverless ones or whatever. What's it's not on? a crazy look. It's me. <laughs> Twin. <laughs> look, we made it to the Jersey Shore. Oh Finally. Oh, God. So east. Oh. <laughs> I hear Snooky's around here. All no. I need to do is rattle some gum. <laughs> hey, I'm here. Oh, there she is! Wow, a real celebrity. <laughs> and she's wearing the top hat. Wow, <laughs> she's so fancy. She's very fancy. After she made that book, I hear she got real fancy. Wow. Wow. Monica Lawn as well. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. You know, she, everyone grew up so much for the yeah. Jersey Shore reunion. Oh my God, it's crazy. <laughs> she looks like she's following. 
It's a kid. Oh, it's a whole like wow. twenty <laughs> themed number. Oh my god, you're so rat pack right now. It's so in. This is so, so much. In. See, this is what I was this talking about. This is an adventure. This is an adventure. Wow. Okay. So no, dude, what do you guys do around here? Oh, we like to get pregnant around here. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> You again with your magic. Hey, you got a hat. You're getting into this stuff. Hat. And do you know what I have in the hat? I'm gonna I'm gonna pull something out of this. Is it a happy family and a good living situation? They <laughs> 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 can't make that happen. I can't make that happen with magic. Dude, what is wrong with you? Like a little thing. I might have a good hobby, but I don't have a happy family like you. Okay. Dwight. <laughs> Carl. Pull me out some happiness. Pull me out this center gun. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> And that is how Romeo met his Juliet. <laughs> 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 You can just sit here, you don't have to pay for the show, just sit here and watch the fork. I'll just take, I'm gonna take a leaf blower and a stack of fives and just blow that shit all over you guys. I don't believe you have that many fives. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> It'll be too late by the time you find out. Alright, if you're interested in taking classes, uh, classes are starting up all the time. We have shows five nights a week, uh, Tuesday through Saturday. Um, look us up, endgamesimprov.edu. Just <laughs> <laughs> It's getting less and less funny. <laughs> yeah, Alright, thanks!